Welcome back to the channel. Got up this morning. Watching TV. Got up early. I uh, don't know, five o'clock. Watching TV. My wife got up about six o'clock. And uh, I came out here and started weed eating along the front of our property. And uh, I don't, it's about 300 foot I have to weed eat, and it's a steep bank, and it's done got high because my weed eater tore up. But uh, got me another weed eater, and about got it all cut. And uh, my wife went to the house to get me a water, and she said, you don't go camping today. Well, naturally, I put the weed eater up. Uh, and the bank in front of my house is only half done. But I will say this, since my last camping out, I think I remembered I told y'all that my little electric chainsaw, the chain had got dull. And uh, I couldn't hardly cut in the wood with that thing. So we did get, we did get the lows, cause that's where this saw's from. We did get the Lowe's, and I got me a new chain for it. Um, so this thing, will cut, it'll cut, it cuts good now. So on the way down there, what we'll do is I'll pull up. There's all kind of little side roads where we go on little cut-off roads and stuff. And I'll go up there and cut me up some dead wood, and I'll put it in my my tote that's on the back of the van. We'll have firewood. But anyway, guys. We're going to get down there. Oh, and I want to ask y'all a question. I want everybody to give me their honest opinion. Now, this morning, I got up and started weed eating. I put my overalls on. Got my got my overalls on. Everybody can see. I, I love wearing my overalls. And when it's hot, I don't put no shirt on. And I, when my wife said, let's go camping, I said, hey, let's go. You got to tell me but one time. All right? So I said, well, let's go. I'm going to go out and tidy up the van, put some little few things in it that we need. And she said, uh, you need to change. <laughs> Why well, I need to change? Got my overalls on. This is, this is my good, this is good clothes. And she said, I need to change. And I said, I know why. She don't like me going. I thought she didn't like me going camping. I thought she didn't like me going camping and getting out in public, you know, all with my sexy clothes on. So I said, you just don't want me to get all spiffied up because you don't want me, you don't want all the women's looking at me. And I, y'all tell me if this is a compliment. I think, I think she gave me a compliment, but I ain't sure. I said, I got my, I'm, 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 I'm sexy. And she said, well, she said, uh, that I need more. She said, that's all right. I'm, I'm close, but I need more practice on getting handsome. Now, I don't know if that was a, I don't know if that was a, I'm still trying to figure out, she, she said I was, I was kinda, kinda, but I needed more practice. Trying to figure that one out. I think it might have been, a, I think it might have been an insult that I didn't need to go dress like this. So I'm gonna have to change my overalls and, and get out of my good clothes. I thought, man, I love my overalls, but she said no. And she said, if you're going to wear your overalls, put on a daggone shirt. So anyway, I'm going to put, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take my overalls off to please her. Uh, between me and y'all, I think she's embarrassed of me going with my overalls with no shirt on, looking like a hillbilly. But I don't see nothing wrong with it. I thought hillbilly was handsome. But oh, anyway, guys. On to the next. I'm fixing to pull my van out. Start cleaning it out. Got two bikes in there. I only need one because I'm not going to ride my bike. Well, it's my grand, my two grandsons went there this last time, but he's, they're not going to. 
there's only one is going this time, so one of the bikes is coming out, and I think I'm gonna put my seat back in because my son bought a couple of new Xbox games. Oh, another thing, guys, I'm gonna tell y'all, we're fixing to get Starlink. There's quite a few places we go to that don't have internet, and I think my and my wife had a long talk about it. We're gonna try to get Starlink, and so when we go, we can play our Xbox, watch TV and stuff. But anyway, guys, I'll see y'all when we get on the road, and uh, probably see y'all when we cut up some firewood. I'm gonna stop along the way a few spots and cut up some firewood, show y'all how good my chainsaw's cutting. See y'all in a bit. Well, guys, fix to pull old Betsy out. Now, we hadn't, I hadn't drove it since the last time we went on a uh, camping trip in it. We, I hadn't drove it, but Betsy had never failed to crank. Winter, Woo! summer, not one time has this van ever failed to crank me. Uh, crank on me. My bad. But anyway, guys, I'm going to pull her out, clean it out, and uh, we're not going to do a whole lot because I think we're only going to stay one day. I'm not sure. But, guys, I'm going to pull her out and uh, get everything straightened up. And uh, like I said, I'll see y'all down there. When... Oh, Betsy, she's ready. She's ready. What did I tell you? She never fails. She's ready to go camping too. She loves it. See y'all when we get down there cutting up some wood. Guys, we're going into the dollar store. We're gonna pick up a few things. That means is Red Bull time. They got the deal. Three for six. We always get the three for six. Yeah, but do you want the regular or no, the, I want, the I want winner? Get him the winner, and I'm going to get the uh, regular. Get three? Yeah. And guys, they have this Red Bull. It's called winner. winter. Yeah. I have drank this thing, and guys, I'm going to tell y'all something. It is really, really good. Um, my grandson loves them. We only drink them when we go camping because I know they're not really good for you to drink all the time, so we drink them when we camp. When we go camping, I always cheat, so I'm gonna get me some hot dogs. Hey guys, we kinda here and got a bag of ice, large bag of ice. Ain't that crazy? Them little bit of groceries right here, guys, y'all looking at uh, what y'all see in here? Them few bags oh, and yeah. these coats. He's got, you see these little bags? $60, over $60 counting yeah. ice. Yeah. That is, that is, we need help, guys. Uh, this is ridiculous. So y'all when we get down there. Guys, we pulled over on the side of the road down here little cut off road like I said I was going to do and usually you find those dead woods like this laying on the side of the road and we went up this road and people had been cutting a lot of it so we're going to get this right here. <laughs> Guys, this saw right here I bought from a guy I paid $100 for it. I think about $189 at Lowe's, and it was new. It was new when I bought it, but it was from an individual. Uh, I mean, I saved almost a hundred dollars. This thing right here is amazing.
got it? Yep. All right, guys, that took about, how long is we here? 10 minutes? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes at the most. And we cut us a tub of wood, a whole tub back here. Our tote, we cut us a whole tote. And we're right here at the campground. See y'all when we get down. Hey guys, we are here. Uh, this is the spot my wife was really wanting, but we didn't know if we was gonna get it because the bathhouse is right here. So, uh, and you know, she got what she don't feel too good sometimes with that hernia. Guys, we falling apart. We are falling apart. We are getting, I don't know if everybody says, oh, you're just getting to that age. Maybe so, but now she's got that hernia. She had the fatty liver. She's got gallstones. The doctor's supposed to take care of the gallstones and the uh, hernia, he said, at one time or whatever. That's just, she's got to go Thursday to find it. But we're here, guys. We're going to get set up. We're not going to set a lot of stuff up right now. Now, now if we decide we're going to stay again, then we'll set some more stuff. You know, we'll get more comfortable tomorrow. But we're going to try to just do it, you know, because we may leave tomorrow, so we're not going to set out a lot of stuff. I think we're going to play Xbox and uh, and kind of just chill out today. See y'all when we get set up. Yeah. Is that them or the other ones? I ain't got no Marshmallow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I didn't bring them. Yeah, I think we're out. Oh, they could be some in there, though. Well, you can see that candle. Look, look at the stand. Mm -hmm. Ryan, you gonna eat a hot dog?
guys. We sitting out here by the fire. Ate some hot dogs. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Hot dogs are one of my favorite foods. I love to eat hot dogs. I know they ain't good for you, but I love hot dogs. Um, Ryan's in the van, playing on his phone. We just sitting out here by the fire. Forgot our marshmallows. I wanted some marshmallows tonight, and we forgot them. I think we're gonna go get some tomorrow. But uh. I was gonna tell y'all guys what we're gonna we're gonna do some upgrades to van. We're gonna I know we're gonna my wife's gonna get a different rug for for the inside. Um, a while back I had talked to y'all about putting a plug in, putting a plug in on us on my van. Well, the plug I've had the plug for a while. I just just hadn't had the saw to cut the, the hole saw to cut the hole in my van. I got all the sizes, but the size I need of the hole saw. So I got to get a hole saw and do that. And I'm going to do it pretty quick because it's aggravating plugging this thing up. And we're just getting tired of it. We're going to put that plug in. And um, I know we're going to do that pretty quick. And uh, my wife's wanting to get curtains. It's, we got the windows blocked with um, what it is. It's the it's the shield. It's the shade that goes over your windshield. Uh, the sun reflecting shade, and we we bought some of them and cut them out to fit the van. And we're gonna change them up. We, we uh, this van has been like this for over two years, and we're gonna change. We're gonna do. We're fixing to do a little upgrades to it. We're gonna put curtains in. You know, when you put curtains in on a van, you have to put like a curtain rod at the top and the bottom because the walls go, they're not straight and the curtains just hang. There'll be a gap. So you gotta put rods at the top and the bottom. So it's a little harder than putting curtains in your house, but we are gonna do that. My wife's want curtains, which is a good thing. We should have done done it. That way we can open the curtains and let the light in or whatever. The way we got it is them shades just keep the keep the windows covered all the time, and I think we get kind of tired of that. We want to be able to open and let the light in, so we are going to do that. Um, just some upgrades, you know, to the van. It's 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 getting time, and the stuff that we're going to do to it, you know, uh, not a lot of money. I mean, highest thing would be the curtains. Um, you know, she's gonna change the rug, that rug we've had, I know for two years. Uh, she's gonna change that rug, you know, just a little stuff like that. Not a lot of money, but, but we just kind of getting bored with what it, the way it looks. Um, so we all, you know, wanted to, but I'm slow, slow about doing things. And, um, but we, uh, we are gonna do that. And guys, we're really, we're really fighting with a with a with a with a notion to get a. We're really wanting to blow up the air up tent. We really want one. Timu's got them, and uh, I just don't know. You know, not saying nothing bad about Timu, but you know a lot of stuff that a lot of stuff is on the cheap side. So in this tent we're looking at about four hundred dollars, and which is a lot of money to us. Um, you know, we don't want to pay that much and it'd be a, a cheap tent, but I'm sure we're going to have to go that route because, you know, most of them tents is a thousand dollars, you know, they're real expensive. So we probably more than likely we're going to go with the Timu route. Um, but guys, these, you, you, if y'all seen people camping, I mean, I mean, you lay these tents out and hook a blower to them and they poof. You got a tent, you know, you don't have to put poles together, da, da, da. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do all that. So we are really, really, we're really going to do some changes, you know, to our camping. Uh, winter's coming up and we want to get real comfortable. I know I'm going to get um, 
a different wood heater. And the blow up tent that from Timu is, it's a hot tent. So it's got the jack in the top to put the, um, gosh, that fire is burning me. Uh, to put the time? stove pipe through. So it is a hot tent, which is a plus. And I'm not gonna, I think I told y'all guys, I'm not gonna bring that big, that heater that I bought. It's just back breaking and it's, I just don't wanna pick the thing up no more. And it don't have wheels, you have to tote that thing. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna put, I'm on what I'm gonna do with it. I may put it in my shop or something, I don't know. But I know I won't be bringing it back. Hot tent camping. You know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a smaller one that's a, that's a lot lighter. Uh, they got them that's a lot lighter and come, you know, a lot more simpler. Uh, so we're gonna do. I want, and we want one that's got a glass door in it, or the sides is glass, and you can see the, um, see the fire when you when you're in it. So we're definitely, guys, we're definitely gonna do that. We're we're struggling with a hot tin, ain't we? Yeah. We want it. We really want it really bad, but... Um, we hope that's next, next thing we get. Yeah. We She's... We would camp... Okay, this... We don't know if this is a camping trip here's a one-night or two-night. But when it's a one-night... When we come for one night, that big tent that y'all seen us put up, it is that is a nice tent. I mean, it it is a, a struggle to put up. It's heavy. It's a struggle to put up, a lot of poles, and we're just trying to get away from that. We're just trying to get, we're not trying to be lazy, we're just trying to get simpler. We just we just wanna, uh, we would like to camp in a tent, even even though if it's a one night, we would like to camp in a tent other than the van all the time. Uh, but we want it to be simpler. So, <clears throat> It would be a blessing to me the next time y'all see us camping, we would be in a hot tent <laughs> in that blow-up one. Uh, we really want it. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to, we're fixing to go get showers and uh, <coughs> uh, get our showers. And uh, It's still early, you know, it's getting, it's getting dark really early now, I mean. We looked at the, we was, a while ago, we thought, I thought it was 10 o'clock and it was 6 o'clock. You know, it was dark, been dark an hour uh, thing, you know. But uh, it's still early. Uh, we're going to go get our showers and we ate a while ago and we're going to, another thing we're going to do is, uh, I think, I'm not sure guys, but I really, really, we want to get the Starlink. We really want to get the Starlink uh, here at this campground. We love this campground. It's close to home. Uh, it's real reasonable. It's a nice <laughs> campground, real clean. Bathhouses is clean, but they don't have phone service. So we're really, really debating on getting a Starlink, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're really wanting to get the Starlink. And um, it is a it, it it puts another bill on us, but we go camping a lot. We really love to camp. Anytime we can get out of the house, we want to go camping. And uh, we spend. I mean, if we get set up right, we would spend as much. We would probably spend if it wasn't for us babysitting our grandkids. We would probably spend as much time camping as we did at home. Uh, so we're trying to get ourselves set up like for Starlink. There's three or four places we go that don't have service, but we could take our Starlink with us and watch TV, have phone service. So I think we're fixing to bite the bullet on the Starlink. I'm pretty sure we're fixing to get it. Um, I think we really, really, really enjoy and really want, you know, make camping for us a lot more better. Did you tell them on the van that we're going? Please. Yeah, I did tell them on the van about, I told y'all on the van about, we're going to update the van and uh, just tired of looking at it like it is. So we're going we're gonna to do some updates on this. <laughs> Definitely, guys. Uh, I know y'all probably think as much as I do this, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And next time you see this, we ain't done it. But we're definitely going to update that van a little bit. Tired of looking at it like it is. It's been over two years. It's been the same. And like I said, 
the stuff that we want to do to it is The stuff that we're wanting to do to it is not expensive, so uh, we're going to, you know, we, we'll definitely be able to do it. Um, the tent, on the other hand, is expensive, but I just think it, it'll make our camping a whole lot easier. Uh, so we're definitely, that's two of the main things is the Starlink and the, and the Arab tent. Mm -hmm. Definitely want them two things. Definitely. Um, so, guys, uh, I hope next time we go camping, next time y'all see us, that we'll have at least the van fixed up, if not the tent or the tent. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll be excited if we do get them. I know that. The Starlink. And, and my grandson, he's... I know he'll be excited. He's all up for it. Yeah, he's all up for it. <laughs> then, see, what it is, he plays online with a lot of his friends on online, how they do. And when we come camping, all I got is what Xbox 360. It's just got games. He don't. But now, if we have Starlink, he can get online and still play with his friends and talk to his friends. So, uh, he's real excited about it. But, um, <coughs> we don't know. We don't know. We hope. We really, really hope. Um, that we can, uh, we can get to Starlink. Uh, if anybody out there has got Starlink and uh, wants to leave a comment about it, whether it's good or bad or whatever, we just watch videos on it, and a lot of people in the campground has it. We've and, heard uh, it's good. Huh? We've heard it's good. Yeah, we have heard it's good, but, uh, you know, uh, I, and I, I, so I think we're going to, I think we are going to do that, but, we still, if y'all would leave it, anybody knows, leave it in the comment. If it's, uh, if y'all know anything about it. And, uh, guys, we're going to go get showers and, uh, come back and going to try to wait as long as we can because I hate to jump in the van, have to sit in the van, you know, and lay in the van for a long period of time. But we don't like to go take showers and come out here by the fire because we smell like smoke. So, uh, we may sit out here as long as we can, then go take a shower and jump in the van. And, and uh, but uh, guys, I'll see y'all, and I guess I'll see y'all when uh, when uh, we get back from taking a shower and uh, either turning in or <coughs> maybe sit out here by the fire a little bit longer. I was gonna eat me some marshmallows, but I we forgot them. We forgot the marshmallows and. It seems like when you ain't got it, you crave it more. And I want, I, and after I ate them hot dogs, I said, boy, I sure would like to have me a marshmallow, a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> Tough. We ain't got no roasted marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Right there. You make it back. Mmm, that's good. Is that good? Yep. Hot chocolate. Is yours good? You oh. ain't tried it yet. I've tried it before. Take a drink. It's too hot. Oh. I'm using it to warm. Hey guys, I wanted to show y'all something that my wife bought me. Uh, I got one that's pretty, it's, it's all right. It's, it, it, it's a good one, uh, but it's not as good as this one. But I mainly bought this one, guys, to hunt with. Um, coon hunt with. This thing right here, man, it is, it's really, really, really bright. Uh, it's got, it tells you on the back, back here, It tells you it's got three bars. It's on three bars right now. Four is fully charged. I've been using it tonight. And uh, 
it's got a backup it's got a light for like i get it's got a rear flashlight i don't know why uh and it's got um i guess this is for riding a bike and emergency this thing is bright but now the front guys i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all this this headlamp all right, guys, I got it on, and it's comfortable. This thing is really, really comfortable. It looks big, and it is big. Uh, it looks it looks uh, uncomfortable, but it's not. It fits my head really good. It don't flop around, and I want to show you all how bright this thing is. All right, guys, I'm going to walk down here across our campsite down here in the woods. Now, I'm going to stop. I know where the edge of the woods is. It's, I guess, 100 yards down there. I'm going to turn on this light and show y'all. All right, guys, where you see me on that tree right there is probably about 100 yards. Uh, let me get it right. I'm going to go up in the trees, which really why I got it is for coon hunting. You can see up in the trees. Guys, this thing's bright. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show y'all. I'm proud of my... Only thing about it is you can't... If you look at somebody with this thing, I mean, you will, bl <laughs> you will blind them. I mean, so it's got an adjustment. You can turn it down and aim it down like kind of at your feet as you're walking. And uh, you can look at people like I'm looking at the van now, and it won't, it won't blind them. Uh, but I, like I said, I mainly got it for coon hunting. Um, my wife got it for me anyway. I wanted it and talked her in. I talked her into it. Um, the last time I went coon hunting, I went coon hunting with three with a flashlight. Uh, I killed three coons and uh, I ate them things. I ate three coons. <laughs> It was, it was pretty good. I just tried it. I don't. It ain't nothing I would eat again. But anyway, guys, there's my grandson. He just got through eating some takis, and there's my wife. She's turned in, and I'm fixing to turn in. And oh, I wanted to show y'all another thing, guys. This is the seat that I put in my van, and uh, I wanted to bring it because we'll sit in the van during the daytime and play Xbox, whatever, watch TV. Don't have to lay on the bed. and But it's staying so easy to remove. So we just took it out, leaned it up against the picnic table, and put my my grandson's bed down right there so he'll have a comfortable place to sleep. Uh, now, we could have put the bed in front of the, the seat, but we wouldn't have had no room getting in and out of the van, so we just took it out. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to turn in. Uh, see y'all in the morning. And... Uh, Think we're gonna go to town. We gotta go to town, get a few things. We're letting the fire burn out. We gotta. I don't know. I think we go. I'm gonna get something besides hot dogs tomorrow to eat. We are. I think we're gonna stay another night. We're gonna go get. I'm gonna go get something else to eat because I don't want to eat hot dogs again. Anyway, guys, see y'all in the morning when we get up and start moving around, make some coffee, and head to town.
My last one. They have compared to them big ones. They're not good, is it? They're not good. Something about them big ones tastes creamier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't get, why didn't you get big Hey guys, we're uh, we decided we was gonna stay again tonight, so we're doing a two nighter. <coughs> but we did, we did go to town. Hey guys, we're uh, we're in the, we, we we come in to lay down and uh, having a little creepy experience. What's going on is. We was laying here watching a movie, okay, and a motorcycle. We, we, we were right next to the bathhouse, and a motorcycle came by, okay, and uh, sounded kind of like a four-wheeler. We thought it was a four-wheeler. My wife looked out the window, and she said it was a uh, motorcycle. Okay, so it went on by. We laid back down, watched the movie, put another movie in. We laid here. Okay, about an hour hour and a half went by we came out of the van because my grandson wanted a snack he wanted some chips they was outside in our in our food bag so we went outside and as we went outside my grandson said look at the bathhouse so we looked at the back up at the bathhouse and the the, the bike the motorcycle was sitting in the at the bathhouse Okay, so we thought, well, gosh, that was an hour ago, hour and a half. He wouldn't be still in, taking a shower or he wouldn't be, you know, using the bathroom, whatever it was he, we thought, he, you know, might be doing. Well, another 30 minutes went by. We standing outside wondering what's going on. Okay, my grandson opens and shuts the van door. Well, as soon as he opens and shuts the van door, the guy comes out of the bathhouse, okay? Here's where it gets creepy. That's kind of odd there, but he takes his bike. Now, it's pitch dark out here. Now, we have our we have a light outside. Well, he takes his bike and pushes it by our campsite, goes by our campsite, pushing his bike, and as it gets on the other side of our campsite, in another spot down there where it's totally dark, he quits pushing his bike. Okay? So he's standing in the, he's out there in the dark. We can't see him, but we know he's out there. So we looking at each other, we're like, okay, this is odd, you know. And we're standing out there, we're like, well, do we go in the van, take a chance on what's, is he going to come try to, rob us take the van whatever you know we thinking that he might be home first we thought he might be home but it's gonna stay in the bathhouse because it's a little chilly pretty chilly outside so we thought if he's homeless he might try to stay in the bathhouse where it's warm well he's over here in the dark on his bike okay so what we do my wife says okay i gotta use, i gotta go to the bathroom so we walk to the bathhouse with her okay Okay, she goes into the ladies' restroom. We standing outside. We walk around the side, waiting on her. This guy comes walking up from out of the woods to the bathhouse. Totally different than where his bike is at. So he must have walked through the woods and come back. 
So we thinking he's trying to sneak into the bathhouse to sleep, but we don't know. As he's walking up the bath, up the uh, towards the bathhouse, he can't see us because we, me and my son, my grandson's behind side the bathhouse in the dark. Okay. So as he's got something in his hand, okay. As he gets closer, right on us, you know, I kind of okay. Wait a minute, something I got to do something. So I hit, I shined a flashlight on him, and I said, "Hey." Are there something I can, uh, do you need something? And he said, yeah, I need some water. So he goes in the bathhouse. Okay. So while he's in the bathhouse, my, my wife comes out. We come back down to the van. Where well, he stays, and he's been in there, he stays in there another 10 minutes. I said, 15 minutes. I said, it does not take that long to fill a little thing up with water. So then he comes out, and uh, he walks real slow by the by the uh, our van, goes back over here to his bike, and we we just we don't know what he's doing. So we come in the van, <laughs> lock all of the doors, and my wife. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all something. <laughs> my wife, <laughs> she has got a blanket. She's got a blanket up. Now, both front doors is locked, but she's got a blanket up. I don't want him where, to be able to she see She said she is. don't want him, nobody looking in on us or him looking in on us. Whatever. So we locked up in the van. <laughs> All the doors is locked. And uh, so, guys, it's kind of, it's pretty creepy. You know, this guy, we don't know if he's trying to sleep in the bathhouse or or he's going to try to, you know, we don't know. You know, things is bad this day and time. We don't know if he's going to try to rob us or what. But anyway, guys, I am Look. prepared. Oh yeah, <laughs> we was out there busting wood. And my wife said, "Hey, look, I'm, I'm bringing, bringing I'm bringing this in because she don't, she don't want him to get her axe and kill us with it." But anyway, guys, we come in the van, we locked up, and we're gonna keep an eye on what's going on. If something happens, we will get back with y'all and let you know. But now, if he tries to break in on us, or kill us, or whatever, I ain't gonna pick up no phone and film it. I will get my protection, you know, that I got, and I'll, and I'll prevent that from happening i won't be filming but anyway guys if if, if something less than that goes down i'll get back with y'all and let y'all know good morning guys i'm back we uh this morning we heading out we stayed two days had a good time uh other than that little scare with the guy on the motorcycle. Now guys, uh, we gotta get back to civilization, we'll babysit some kids, and uh, I'm probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna be working on my truck and my uh, and my car. I got a few things to do to them. I'll probably be working on my car. I'm gonna put some quarter panels in it, and uh, if I do, I'll bring y'all along and show y'all how I'm gonna do that, because I'm gonna do it the uh, cheapest way I can. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I think it is. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna get out of here, hit the road, and remember guys, put your boots on, get outside, put the good Lord first, and I'll catch you on the next one.